Magic fans, your buddy Subby and Green Skull here today for another fun magic filled day. Woo! So I'm gonna um I wanna show this deck in a bot match with Sparky real quick. Just um before I actually show you the deck build. Hi Mila. Um so yeah, let's let's see what we can get out of this. Um We'll keep This looks like a good spot for some practice. We're gonna play that one first. And then we're gonna play the planes next. And then we're gonna pass turn. I'm gonna go ahead and gain three life and draw a card. Uh, that's not at all what we want to see. Not yet, at least. I saw it coming. And there's at least a green mana. Um, we're gonna play Lithoform Engine first. At least he's just playing, Sparky's just playing the kitty. I don't know if Sparky's a he or a she. I guess we could always find out sometime, right? Um, not at all what I was hoping for. Um. Yeah, we'll keep both of those. So Sparky's gonna build up the board first. Oh gosh. Cause that's what green needed, right? More draw. Now he's gonna swing for two. She, it, whatever Sparky is. Um. So we'll go ahead and play that on green. And then we'll play that. And we'll go ahead and get a white and a blue. We'll play the white down. And then we'll put that on Fortel for now. Oh, here come the big creatures. And drop me down to 16. Um, I'm gonna play that, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and board wipe. It's okay, Sparky, you can restart a new board. And of course, drawing nothing but lands. But that's okay. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, I'm gonna Lithoform Engine the Gargroth. That would be the first guess, but that's actually not what we're trying to do. We could do that. That is a true statement, we could. But we're not going to. We're gonna do something way different. What is this, at the beginning of upkeep or at the beginning of end step? Beginning of your upkeep. So we're gonna play that.
Oh, that is just... Wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, sure, they get back two things with the same... Destroying the same enchantment, but... That... You could also copy the Banishing Light when you cast it. That way... Ugh. You know. So if I don't see the card I'm looking for on the next draw or two, I'm going to give it two more draws and then if we don't see the card, we're just going to just going to copy the guard draw with the with the form engine. I will admit this deck does take a while to build it, to build the board that you want, uh, to start, yeah, okay. So we're just going to go ahead and guard her off it out right now. Wow. So this is potentially one way you can do it. I've never actually opened a hand where I've had two Gargaroths before I drew the other card. So we're going to go ahead and play that, and then we're going to swing. We're going to draw a card, draw a card, and resolve those. Still did not see what I was hoping for. So we're going to play Cultivate. I believe I already played a land. So now we're just going to Gargaroth. Copy the Gargaroth. Super awesome. Cool. And to finish it all off, next turn we're going to swing for 24 damage. Drop Sparky down to negative 16. Unless Sparky has a creature to block with. Which, I mean, in that case, by all means, Sparky. No? Alright. I have so much draw. <laughs> We're gonna just try and see if we can find it. And we do not. Nice job. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go into show you guys how the deck is built real quick. And then we'll do some free play games. Uh, been having really bad luck with ranked today, so I'd rather not play ranked right now. Especially not with this deck. This deck is definitely not... Uh, 
Ranked gameplay ready. I probably still have some tweaks I needed to do. Um, but yeah. So we'll go there. Choose that deck. We're going to edit first. Uh, just so I can show you guys the deck build. You pretty much saw most of the deck already, but revitalize, negate, um, gain three life draw a card for a white and a colorless, negate, counter target non creature spell for a blue and a colorless, banishing light, you know, enchantment. It's a enchantment that removes a permanent opponent controls until banishing light leaves the battlefield. Saw it coming, cultivate. Behold the Multiverse, Rewind, Lithoform Engine, Doomscar for that board wipe, Reflections of Lajara, uh, as Reflections of Lajara enters the battlefield, you choose a creature type, and then whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, you copy that spell. Uh, when you copy a permanent, you create a token spell of that permanent, pretty much. Um, and the Lithform Engine has the same thing for four colorless and tapping. And then you can tap it for three colorless. Or ta pay three colorless, tap it. You copy an instant or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets. And then two colorless, tap it. Copy target activated or triggered ability you control, you may choose new targets for the copy. Um, we know what Behold the Multiverse does. Rewind counter target spell, and then you untap four lands. Uh, and the creature to top the deck off, Elder Gargaroth, 6-6, six, six, Vigilance Reach Trample, when it attacks or blocks, you choose, you choose one, either create a 3-3 three, three beast, green creature, green beast creature token, gain three life, draw a card. Um, and then the rest are lands, plains, islands, forest, Hengegate pathway, branch off pathway, bark channel pathway, and temple of mystery. And yeah, that's pretty much the deck build. So let's go into some free play games with this. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Um, I mean, we see what we want to see, so we'll go ahead and keep that. I mean, that's, that's a perfect card to draw into. Uh, we play that pathway there, and then we're gonna Banishing Light. The Scavenging Ooze. Oh no. Oh no. What did he do? We're gonna go ahead and pass the turn. Um, I am gonna let that one resolve. I don't mind my opponent drawing or pulling lands out of their deck. There's a reason why they're pulling lands out of their deck. They're trying to play a more expensive costume spell. So we'll play that, and then we'll go ahead and uh, pass turn. Hey, yeah. that's what you want to stop. 
I'm gonna stop that, and then we'll just go ahead and untap those. Now the cool thing about Rewind is it you counter and then you can set up for like a 4 drop uh, draw spell or even like another counter spell. Let's see, um, I don't need another land just yet, so what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna pass turn. Um, we're gonna let him grab whatever he wants. He loses three life for that, which helps us in the long run when we finally start to do what we're supposed to do. The main goal is to try and produce as much Elder Gargoth token uh, copies as possible. That I don't mind um, negating because now he's not gonna draw cards. The only person that gets to draw cards in this game is me. And of course, um, we're gonna tap for green, green. Let's put that on hold for now. Um, I mean, I don't want him to come in for six damage. I know I'm at 26, but jeez, man. That's a bit of a tricky move. I guess. Start exiling the top two cards of each player's library. I mean, nobody said you, you're you not going to run into a Super Friends deck or... It's free play. This is where people play all their fun decks. Now, this is going to be a short video though, guys, just to let you know. Um, I'm just... Honestly, I'm really tired. <laughs> Robo Wizard 41. I like that name. You have a cool name, dude. 
Um, well, sh That's the one thing about like playing counter spells is you don't sometimes you don't know what spells your opponent is playing that you want to counter. Um, and then sometimes you do. So like that one, can't counter that. So, that's going to be fun taking some damage from that for a while. fun card to see either right now. So we're going to count that. Untap all my lands. He's gonna swing in for nine. I'm gonna try and see if I can save myself. Uh, that's not that's not nice. I mean I can save myself a turn. But even at that point there's nothing I I can't stop all the damage. Game number three. I mean, there's probably other ways to build this deck to make it a lot better. Um, would be nice is to draw one of my white lands right now. Obviously, not for this guy. That never happens. Oh, yay, it's 
it's the shrine deck. Yay! Just what just what Mark wanted to see is the shrine deck today. Um, I don't need any more green. That white though is really nice. And the secondary white makes it even better. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pass turn. I'm gonna have to discard. Um, we'll let him draw. Worst case scenario, he only has to dis he only discards one. Best case scenario, he doesn't have two enchantments he wants to discard. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and gain three life and draw a card. We're going to put that on his foretell cost. Now we're going to pass turn. And then the next time he goes to cast like a big enchantment, like maybe Sanctum of All, we're going to stop that. Saw it coming. Haha. <laughs> um. Having an additional green isn't terrible. We go there, 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 there. And we'll play Rufa Form Engine. We're gonna saw that coming. Now if he goes to play another Sanctum, just what I was hoping for, And yeah, see, that's a, that's a thing you can do, is you can copy Vanishing Lights. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that. On Beast. We're going to copy that, draw, draw, play land, and then we're going to pass turn. Okay. Um
We drew another land. Well, that's awesome. So we'll go ahead and play that on white. And then we'll tap one, two, three. And then we'll copy the Vanishing Light. So this is a pretty hyper control -y Bant deck if you can get it to hyper control. I didn't necessarily build it to be like this, but it happens. My opponent's probably sitting there wondering, why haven't I played a creature yet? I'm getting there, buddy. I'm getting there. And of course, he has another foreign clicks. Because, you know, that's always what happens. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to play Elder Gargaroth. We're going to tap one, two, copy target trade ability. And see, there you go. He has to deal with uh, six, three, six, six beasts. Because that's, that's what I like to do. He's going to Doomstar, and I'm going to say, no, I don't really want you to get rid of my army of beasts yet. But if you want to swing, if you want to swing in, I don't mind trading, and he can see it. <laughs> Yep, that's uh, that's about it. That's gonna be my video. Uh, I just wanted to showcase a really fun deck idea I came up with last night. Um, I actually couldn't sleep because of this deck idea. Uh, it's not perfect. Could be a lot better. It's most likely because of what's going on in standard right now is why I'm not playing it in. Um, Competitive play. Yeah, there you go. Lajar, reflections of Lajar with uh, Elder Gargaroth and some fun stuff. Thanks for joining in on the video. So please share, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I make a new video. Have a good one.